Well, we are happy to report that power is back on tonight for the nearly 40,000 Cleveland residents that found themselves not only in the dark, but some without heat. City officials just gave us an update about what happened last night. News 5's Kevin Barry was there. So, Kevin, did they say anything about what caused this mess? Yeah, Danita, so far they're trying to figure out exactly what caused a transformer to explode. They say the workaround, though, that they found is meant to be a temporary fix, but it is good enough to be the permanent solution. Ronnie Feliciano's winter break night of video games Tuesday was broken up. The fire trucks go there, up to there. By a scene from a scary movie. Why would the power not hear a boom? I was like, that was the only thing I did the power out. Just across the street, this transformer was on fire, knocking out power to 40,000 residents on the west side. Cleveland Public Power Commissioner Ivan Henderson. It basically erupted in flames, it spilled out oil. With temperatures dropping, Oscar Ward knew his home wouldn't be safe for him, his wife, two daughters, and grandchild. When you got grandbabies, you know, that young, I ain't gonna have her in the cold. I, I can deal with the cold. Yeah. The babies came. Outside the substation, just feet away from the transformer that started an evening of cold and chaos, Cleveland Public Power is still trying to figure out exactly how it all happened. This is unusual. And we've got equipment all over the city, um, and it does not typically fail in this manner. This is very unusual. The reason that power outage was so large last night is because the substation behind me serves a majority of the west side of Cleveland. Those officials say that they have investments and active construction right now to build more equipment that would make more redundancies, make restoring the power a lot easier and a lot faster, but they're not finished yet. Live in Cleveland, I'm Kevin Barry, News 5.